Hi guys, it was such an amazing learning experience this last weekend when I visited Jantar Nantar in Jaipur. And there are, there are dozens of instruments Yantra time rated with functionalities in astronomy which goes to great details. And the biggest Yantra is Samrat Yantra which is world's biggest sundial. So I have this book with me. It talks about different Yantra in brief. So this is Brihat Samrat Yantra, this one. So I was just wondering like how they calculate the time. And for this reason, I try to bring it on the page with explanation how it works. But definitely, there are more interesting facts that I must not have covered here. So the sundial with triangle with slant making an angle of 27 degree. The top pointing towards the pole star north directions. And it's spanning in 44 meter by length and 27 meter by height. And we can see the quadrants on each side. And they are having a radius of approximately 15 meter. And there are four directions, north, east, west, and south. So we have two equipoised quadrants, east and west side, where the shadow of the triangular portion falls so that the, when the sun is facing east, then it casts shadow on the western side. When the sun is facing on the west side, it casts shadow on the eastern quadrants. And interestingly, even these quadrants are also tilted by 27 degrees. It doesn't go so parallelly. And if the question is like why it is so happening so if we see two points and if the, there is a sun and if we cast shadow on the plane surface then the one which is bigger in height will have longer one but if i face a wall with 90 degrees as an angle so we can see the, they both will be having a same height uh, so for that reason like even we have to tilt the quadrant also by the 27 degrees so that the shadow will also be a linear in fashion <sighs> and other fact is that it is said it is said that the shadow rises or falls with a speed of one millimeter per second and if it is translated into an hour then it's going to be 3.6 meter per hour and for six hours it's going to take 21.6 meter quadrant distance and which will make around radius 13.75 meter now how it's calculated like we know the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r where r is the radius and for quadrant it is pi r by 2 which is if it equals 21.6 it will become equal to 13.75 meter and now the another part is like uh, now definitely the question is like why triangular is aligned with 27 degree in Jaipur so the answer is the latitude of Jaipur this is, the, this is the earth's sphere and this is Jaipur with a latitude of 27 degrees. So we, if we plot it on the sphere and do little angle calculation on, on two parallel lines pointed towards the north. And, and we can see that if we try to plot it in this way and having the base of base of the Samrat Yantra to be tangential to the sphere and the top pointing towards the north and we do the calculations we can see that angle will be 27 degree if it has to face on the north direction so so last part is like why we have quadrants but not plain surface so the answer lies in earth sun relative circular motion so, so that circle can be uh, treated uh, here with respect to Vyantra to be having a uniform circular motion. So the sun can be treated here. And so uniform circular motion, if it translated, if it was translated to linear, if we have not considered quadrants, but rather we have considered linear, then the problem is will be like it will be it will show a simple harmonic motion kind of this if it is translated this way and and then the it will be that the, the speed will be non-uniform maximum at the center and minimum minimum at the end so which will lead to non-uniform sundial calibration and unpractical it will be so adding to this because we are trying to mimic the earth sphere so the quadrants are also like arc of earth sphere you can see somewhat like this so I hope uh, this goes good with the explanation and surely you are going to visit Jantar Mantra next time.